I'm Mike Phelan. I'm with the HCI product group. I'm a solutions product manager. And today I'm here to talk about our NetApp HCI with VMware in the private cloud. Today I'm specifically going to look at a VDI environment and adding more VDI to this as well as some database workloads. So let's start off with that database workload first. And what I've got here is um, a, a standard deployment with NetApp HCI in the VMware. And we've got some, some VDI users out here. We've got some knowledge workers and some power workers and everything's moving along nicely and everybody's happy. As my environment goes along, I'm going to increase this and I'm going to add some database workloads to this. And I'm going to say I have just one instance of this database out here for right now. When I'm running this, I've also got some really powerful tools within my environment. So I can do some administration here, and within this, I can decide and determine what workloads are causing me issues, if any. So there could be, this could be a nice, nice even workload that, that not much is happening at this time. And so I'm all good and happy. I don't need to worry about anything. Over time, though, um, I may add some additional workloads to this environment. So I may add some, some databases to that. One of the powerful things we've got within the system is the ability to provide a self-service portal. So within this portal, I may add additional databases. So I've got one, two, three databases. And this is a, a self-service portal where the users can go and automatically you know, create services and things they need to do their jobs more efficiently. So as we do that, let's go ahead and add a couple of additional instances to this database. And these are done through the self-service portal, so I don't have to keep going back to the IT group to get these done. But now as I've done this, I see that my, my, my system all of a sudden is getting a little bit more taxed, and I've got some, some cases here where I'm a little bit concerned about the performance. So with the performance, and what's nice in the system, is I can scale my environment. So let's go ahead and talk about the scaling for a minute here. I can scale my environment with either compute or storage, depending on what I'm getting out of my management and monitoring tools. So in this case, I see that I need to add some more compute and a little bit of storage, and I'm able to do that here within a single box. And I do that, and now I'm able to get my environment back and, 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 uh, and happy, and now maybe these lines come down, and now I've got a new line across here, and, uh, and everybody's back to normal and happy. And over time, my VDI users are going to get more um, sophisticated, more complex. So I'm going to go ahead and add another group of uh, users here. And I'm going to add a group for a power user. So the power users, I'm going to indicate here, so this guy's on a chair, a little bit bigger table. He's got a couple of monitors that he's using out here. And that'll be our, our power users. Now they also could go on this the VDI system, but they're not going to have a great experience. So what we can now add to our environment is we can add a couple of additional nodes. Let's go ahead and add those nodes out here. But these nodes, as I add them, they're not our typical nodes. These are going to be nodes that have a um, GPU enabled. So they're going to have a GPU card included in them. So I'm going to put on the GPU card out here. And these come with the system. So I've got a card for both of these. And with that, now I'm able to add more users to my environment. I can keep everything running nice and smooth, all within the same private cloud environment, using my same administration tools. Uh, I can have a self-service portal. And I'm able to scale either compute or storage independently as well as add compute nodes that are GPU enabled, all within the VMware NetApp HCI private cloud. Thank you for your time today.